this family's unnatural behavior. I've never experienced anything like that. Hellstrom is now streaming on Hulu, and it's taking a different approach to the superhero genre. During our Hellstrom watch party with stars Tom Austin and Sidney Lemon, we asked if any of the comic's iconic looks would make it into the show. Here's what they had to say. Uh, Sydney, one thing I want to ask you is because Anna's wardrobe is so cool in the show uh are there did you guys read any of the comics uh before you you got into this and if so are there any like y you know distinct sort of character looks from the comics that are going to make it into the show okay have you seen what satana looks like in the comics because it is incredible and very racy <laughs> and i wish that i could look like that if i tried <laughs> but we definitely <laughs> um we you you cannot expect the classic satana um right. because i'm not sure if that's even safe for tv but we 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 she's definitely i definitely dress um with danger and creativity and armor on the show and um and it can be quite guarded, I think, as a person, and emotionally cold. And her sword or her cloak and dagger are the blazers that she wears, and the pants that she wears, and the boots, and the jewelry, and the hair. The, the severity in in all of the decisions behind how she expresses herself to the world sort of is that protection, in a way. So it's um, we. I definitely scanned and read and looked through all of the beautiful art that the comics give us and I sort of let that infect my mind how bold and daring Anna is in the comics and how she's sort of risque and bears all that sort of I took that as an actor and like implanted it here um, and so it shows up hopefully in the expression of how how I felt Anna was as a person but the clothing, no, <laughs> it's not. It's not as right. risque. Yeah, obviously, obviously, comics are are not the most realistic uh, portrayals of anything. Um, <laughs> but it is super interesting to hear. I'm like, I um, wish. <laughs> also, it's I very interesting like to hear, like interpreting that as into the character, though. That's really cool. I also feel like one of Anna's um, superpowers is getting changed into like 15 outfits in one episode. Sometimes I would be wearing yeah. the same like dinky old shirt for like five episodes in a row and every time I would see Sydney, she's in this new like incredible outfit and Dame is just wearing the same old like grubby whatever that he was <laughs> fighting in the last I'm like, episode. should I wear the leather pants or should I have the fluffy skirt or should I do the Velcro this or should I do the lace? Like it was really, really, really fun. And um, I have to throw props to Farnaz, our costume designer, because she totally was incredible in the coming up with the concept for Anna and also so collaborative. And she sort of let me voice my opinions and met me halfway. So that's amazing. And Tom, I guess it's similar question to you. We get a tease of the chest, uh, the, the chest scar in the first episode. Are, are we going to get any of the uh, leather pants, shirtless cape look from the from the comics? Yeah, so that's basically episode two till episode 10. Um, Damon gets changed into that right at the beginning and then and then stays in that throughout. And again, that was my request. Um, <laughs> all was very collaborative with me. I just wanted them just as tight as possible, really. And uh, so, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what we've got. Be sure to check out our entire Hellstrom watch party, as well as Tom and Sydney on why Hellstrom is not your typical superhero show. And for all things everything else, subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.